I've been eating apple fritters ever since I'm a young kid and uh, I love these things but I didn't I never knew how to make them so um, I researched it online and found good recipes and I tried them until I perfected it and uh, so today I'm gonna share with you how to make it it's uh, quite fun and uh, fun to watch actually so um, let's go in the kitchen and I'll show you how to do it all right cool so um, somebody came to me and said Mike how come you don't use okra I'm like dude I don't even know what okra is so this is what okra looks like so I started thinking to myself hmm how can I use okra in my cooking show one idea I had was mountain climbing why not Second idea, military. Look at that one. Third idea is torture. That's always fun. You will tell us what we want to know. Now. Or else. There's nothing you can do to me that's gonna make me talk. <sighs> huh. What? You think that's gonna do it? <laughs> I have a bigger one in my pocket. <laughs> what do you think you're gonna do with that hacksaw? Cut my toenails? of the day eggs for a vegetarian that doesn't eat eggs and likes to bake eggs are sometimes hard to replace so here's a quick tip for a recipe that calls for one or two eggs replace each egg with one teaspoon of baking soda mixed with one tablespoon of vinegar or lemon juice this works best with cake muffin and pancake recipes okay so I'll show you the ingredients and the measurements for the apple fritters. First, it's two cups of all-purpose flour, half a cup of raw sugar or regular sugar if you want, then um, two teaspoons of salt. I use uh, Himalayan salt anyway. It's my wife who buys that. Um, then three teaspoon of baking powder then we use three quarter cup of milk I use organic milk then some yogurt we're gonna be using about two cups no, not two cups but two um, tablespoons of plain yogurt and then of course apples we're gonna be using about two cups of finely chopped apples without the peels and once they're done and uh, and fried then we're gonna be making a uh, just a a sugar uh, sugar sauce on top with powdered sugar okay now we're gonna mix in the dry ingredients first we're gonna mix in the flour
Then the sugar. Then the salt. Baking powder. Now you mix that together. Now we're ready to add the wet ingredients. Okay, once you've peeled the, uh, the apples, you can cut them um, in tiny squares. I'll show you. So like this is pretty good. Oops, sorry. About that size, tiny little pieces. Okay, so you cut all your apples like this. Gonna put some milk. Three quarter cup. You can kind of eyeball it. That's what I do. Doesn't have to be super precise. I'm gonna put some yogurt. Yogurt is basically the uh, the agent that will replace the eggs. Because usually they add eggs in there. And since we're uh, vegetarians, we don't eat eggs, so we will add some yogurt. Yogurt will bind everything together. So let's take two tablespoons of Yogurt, one, two, and then we mix it all together. If it gets to a point where you see it's a little bit too sticky, you you can add some some milk. Okay, now we're ready to fry. What it's recommended to do is that you use a pan. I, I'm using obviously a cast iron pan. You can use stainless steel, but don't use a Teflon or a non-stick or aluminum pan because uh, it's unhealthy, especially for frying in. So what you do, you put your vegetable oil about to one inch. So to find out is that you put your finger and then you see it's about one inch right there. And, um, and then you bring it, you put your uh, your element to about about half the temperature on medium and uh, you wait for the proper temperature to to be ready and uh, the way to test it is that you're going to take your spoon and you're just going to drop a little bit inside there when it's ready to just see if it's going to rise up okay so the oil seemed to be just about right it's boiling or frying and uh, let me show you the trick your instinct would tell you because an uh, apple fritter is just this big chunk of, uh, of flour or dough. And um, so you think that, okay, you, they just put a big ball of, uh, of, of dough inside the, uh, the frying pan. But the thing is, you want it as thin as possible or else this, the center won't cook. So what I do, I take a spoonful like this and um, I gradually push it in the oil. Almost like a pancake this and you're gonna take some tongs and you gotta make sure that it doesn't stick on the bottom so you're just gonna push it a little bit and you see it moving so that's good let's do some more okay so I think they're ready to be flipped so you grab your tongue put it on the other side it's that simple 
We let the other side cook. I think the, this side could be cooked a little bit more. So once the uh, the bottom is cooked, we're just gonna flip it again and let it fry a little bit more. Okay, so now that they are nicely fried, nice and brown on both sides, just take them out, shake them a little bit, and put them on your pan, on your cookie sheet. Okay, so now we're gonna do the glaze. You take one cup of powdered sugar. Lila, can you go get me the milk, please? Okay. And you sift it. Then you add a little bit of milk. So once your glaze is thoroughly mixed without any lumps, you can start pouring it all over your apple fritters. And if you find that you don't have enough glaze, to cover all your apple fritters, then you can just repeat the steps to making more glaze. So I hope you enjoyed this recipe. This can be served with coffee and tea, just relaxing after, after your dinner, or even for breakfast if you're adventurous. Thank you very much and have a nice day.